Hey guys, it's Bryce here with yet another Fusion 360 quick tip on a few sketch gems. This is part three of this series. Make sure to check out the other sketch gem quick tips, which are linked in the description. To start this quick tip, we are going to create a sketch on a face of this part and start sketching out a slot. When I start to hover over this face, there are different blue lines that are highlighting. Beware, if I click right now, a coincident constraint will be made to an edge which is on another face somewhere. Here is the tip. Hold Command for Mac or Control for Windows and you will ignore these inferenced relationships. Make sure to use these hotkeys if you do not want to lock on to some unwanted edges with a coincident constraint. Now here is the next tip. I want to align this slot right in the middle of this face. So let's turn on the vertical constraint. First, I will select the sketch origin. Now, for this technique, I need to find a point in the middle of the slot to align vertically with the sketch origin. Unfortunately, when I hover, I can't seem to lock on to the midpoint. Here's the secret. Hold Shift. While the Shift key is being held, you can lock on to the midpoint of this sketch line. Now you will see if I drag this slot, it will always be aligned to the center of this face right under the sketch origin. I love using this technique for centering things together. If the face ever gets larger or smaller, the slot will always be aligned on the center of this face. Here's a bonus tip. Holding the shift key will pick the midpoint while making constraints or dimensions for both lines and arcs. Now this time I want the middle of this rectangle 0.8 inches from the side of this edge. Let's grab our dimension tool. We will start by selecting this edge. Then when I hover over the line, hold shift again and shazam, we're locked onto the midpoint for this dimension. Well, I'm not done yet. I got one more sketch gem to show you. As I'm adding more and more sketch entities, this sketch is getting quite cluttered. We have several constraints in my way. In the sketch palette, we can hide the sketch constraints. Now when I select a sketch entity, like this line for example, all the sketch constraints pertaining to this line show their constraints. It gets better. When I hover over constraints, it will highlight other sketch entities that are associated. For example, this tangent highlights the arc. Now I don't use this option for every sketch, but I use it when sketches get quite complex. Well that was the quick tip for this week. Now go become a sketching master.